morning, everyone. Morning. We're doing a little outside practice today, so uh, I'm hoping that you guys can find time to practice as well. Mandy's going to teach. I'm going to move today. Mm -hmm. And how long of a class are we going to do? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So hopefully yep. you can make time to fit that in. So let's get started. Where am I starting? Um, let's start in uh, Sutta Bada. So presence in its very simplest form is just taking your senses and using them to tune into what's happening around you right now. One of the great things about being outdoors when you practice is there's, there's a lot of content that you can latch on to. Maybe the sounds you're hearing, or the smells, or even the feeling of the air on your skin. Just choose something and spend a few breaths there. If you find your mind wandering into different places that aren't present, right, that'd be really normal. Again, just finding something in your environment that's happening now to come back to. Bring your knees into your belly, give them a squeeze. We'll wake up our core a little bit this morning, so bring your legs out so that your knees are stacked over your hips and flex your feet and extend your arms up and behind you so they're resting on the ground. So try to drive your, your low back kind of deeper into the ground and then holding it in that position so your ribcage is smooth, your low back is flat on the, low, on, on the ground, slowly start to drop your right heel towards the mat without touching it. So just your right heel. And then bring your knee back up, same position. And try the left side. And back up. So you walk like this. Just slow and really um, paying attention again to the, the space in your low back, staying down in the ground. Just do one more round, both legs. And keeping your legs in that 90 degree angle, bring your knees a little closer together. Again, keeping your low back down on the ground. 
take your knees three or four inches to the right and just hold there. Keep flexing your feet. Using your left oblique, the left side of your abdomen, pull your knees back to center. And then a slow journey to the right, just three or four inches. Hopefully your, your hip can even stay down. So again, tick tock here, back and forth, slow and steady. So like a count of three to the right, Nick. Back to center at a count of three. And then to the left, count of three. And center. Hug your knees in. Slowly roll up to a seat. And take your arms up overhead, big reach here. Twist open to the right. You could even use your, your left hand on your knee there for leverage if that feels good this morning. Think about your inhales taking you a little taller in your spine. Exhale to rotate. And a big reach to the center here. And twist to the left. Come back to center. Think of this being like cat cow. <clears throat> so hands on your knees. As you inhale, look up and spread your collarbones. And as you exhale, round and pull your chin to your chest. A couple rounds like that. If it feels good, you might even open your arms, palms open as you open your collarbones. Crawl onto your hands and your knees. Keep your toes under and press to downward facing dog. Yeah, that first down dog, just let it be about assessing, right? Not judging or putting meaning on anything that you're feeling, but just assessing what's going on in your body today. feel in our body, our body sensations, that's using our senses, our sense of feel, right? Deep internal sense of feeling to hold our own attention. Might even be feeling or hearing your own breathing, how it's showing up today. Walk or jump forward. Come up halfway, get a long spine. Take a bow as you empty. Stand up, reach up. Arc your body to the right as you exhale. Pull straight up with a breath in. Arc 
your body to the left. Take one more reaching breath. Forward fold. Halfway, deep inhale. And slow lower to low plank. First upward dog or cobra. Back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And pour it out. Feel that point of emptiness at the end. Stay there as you walk or jump. Half lift, in breath. Fold and empty. Reach up. Arc to the right as you empty. Through the center as you inhale. Go left. Straight up. Fold. Halfway, notice that feeling of fullness as you pause. Low push up. Take it slow. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. And stay here, three breaths, just to notice what's shifting already in your down dog. Two more. Take one more breath in. Empty it out. Walk or jump, halfway, fold, big reach all the way up, arc to the right as you empty, reach all the way up, straight up, and arc to the left. Reach up, chair pose, let your breath settle in here, Sometimes get overstimulated and our senses get heightened. And it's almost like we're trying to take in everything at once. It gets overwhelming for us. So you just right now to feel the surface of your feet on your mat. It could even be the temperature of whatever you're standing on. You can close your eyes. You can just really zoom in your attention to the feeling of your feet on the surface you're standing on. Start to kind of play with where the weight in your feet is landing. I want you to set it back in your heels and feel that transfer of pressure into your heels. And then a slow shift of your weight into your toes until your heels can get light. And just a little moment here in power chair. Take a deep breath, send it out, more weight in your toes, the balls of your feet, breathe out, breathe in, back to your heels, chair pose, 
Reach your arms up for a breath in. Bow forward. Halfway. High to low. Take it slow. Upward. Downward facing. Take your right leg up. Just stay there, breathe out. Spread your toes and feel the air between them. Now roll your hip open, legs still straight. Like you're trying to push your heel into something solid behind you. Yeah, there you go. So right fingers all the way to right heel, really long. Take one more breath here. And step through crescent feet. Come all the way up to high crescent. Couple breaths, just again, feel the surface of your mat or the ground under your feet. Start adding a little bit of left knee bend so you can really drive your tailbone down and forward. Get that nice hip stretch across the front of your left hip. If you wanted to, you could add a side bend to the right here. So just accentuate that. Feeling deeply that whole space of your left hip flexor. Maybe across your ribs. One more breath in to reach and open. Go to warrior two pose yeah, as you exhale. Stay here and keep breathing. Gentle nudge of your right knee out to the right to feel a little more of your inner right thigh or groin. Move to reversed warrior, take a breath in here. We'll stay to empty. Knee to the right as you reach up. High to low plank. Through upward dog with a breath. And downward facing dog. Take a clearing breath in your nose, big exhale through your mouth. And bring your left leg up. Stay there to empty. And that strong kick through your heels, spread through your toes. And keeping your legs straight, go ahead and roll open. Like a rope being pulled in two directions. Your left hand pulls and reaches. Your left heel reaches. Everything in between gets really solid and long. Big step through when you're ready. Crescent feet. Come on up. Time to say hello to your right hip flexor when you're ready. Add those little adjustments. So a little knee bend, an active scooping down. Maybe even a little side bend to the left. Closing your eyes when balancing 
Enter at your own risk. <laughs> One more breath here. We'll go to warrior two to empty. A little nudge of your left knee out to the left. For no other reason than to just simply feel something happening now and anchor your mind there. Go ahead and reverse on an in breath. Breathe out to deepen your knee. And take one more reach up and away. High to low. All on a long exhale. Up dog to breathe in. And downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in your nose. Clear out. Walk or jump. Half lift. It's crow pose. If you don't want to crow yet this morning, you could squat. You could also opt for a little tripod time. Let's start with a really solid placement of your hands though. Spread your fingers to increase surface area. Remember, we want to look ahead here versus down. Holding here, breathing here for three, two, make your move to low plank. You could step, we jump, and the up dog, and back to downward facing dog. Bring your right leg up. <clears throat> Right knee to right upper arm, hug in. Do that again. So as you go back, fan your toes, pull them back towards your knee. And then same foot position as you come in, knee to right arm. We'll do that one more time. Reach it up, reach it up. Come into your right arm and hold there. Take a breath in. Touch your left arm, come across, touch your left arm. Oh, back to right arm. Hold, hold, hold. Kick it all the way up. Ah. And step through again. Crescent feet. <laughs> I'm gonna build your twist from here. <coughs> Up for an open arm twist like Nick's doing. You could come deeper into your elbow or use your hand for leverage. Keep anchoring through your right big toe. To keep your knee and your hip ahead. Stay for one more inhale, one more exhale. Come out to warrior two. Go ahead and reverse your warrior. Find your front heel, anchor there. Take another breath. You're gonna make your way to half moon. Float it. If you don't have a block, try that. You could use, be creative, use a water bottle or, or books. Strong flexion in your upper toes. Pull them towards you. 
a little more right knee bend. Get into your right glute here. Take a breath. Take another breath. Bold. Halfway. Low push up. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Bring your left leg up. Need a left arm. Same foot position, strong flexion. Press your leg back. And again, left arm. See how high you can touch. Kick back. This time, left arm to hold. Stay for an inhale. To your right arm. Back to left. Hold there, leg high, all the way up, push, and step through, crescent feet. When you're ready, you can build your left twist. your final breath in. Stay for the exhale. Warrior two. Reverse. Take a breath here. Root down through your left heel. Another breath in. You're on your way. Half moon pose. Balance can definitely improve if you add some left knee bend. I think there's this thought that the leg has to be straight. It, it actually is helpful to bend it so you can have a little bit of spring there. Strong kick through your right heel. One more reaching inhale. Fold, let it all go. Stand up, reach up. Hands to your heart center. It's a moment of non-doing. Feel the world around you, hear it. Come into tree pose, right foot up. Mm. Using sight, our sense of sight, I want you to find something to hold your gaze on. be soft. If you want, you could add any arms here or just stay hands at heart. Even 
as you transition out, keep your eyes steady on that one spot. Committed to your focal point, you can build the left side. As you step out again, can you hold your gaze on that same point? Take a clearing breath here. Reach up. Forward fold. Halfway lift, come to your belly. And just set your hands up for cobra. So think about up dog, but a little further back. So the heels of your hands, if you can, right about underneath your elbows. And then reach through your toes and firmly press the tops of your feet down. Keeping your belly down on the ground, you're gonna to start to slowly lift your chin, your throat, your chest. Just to feel the whole backside of your body turning on, getting warm, and holding you here. You might even get to the point where you can float your hands, relying just on your back body to hold you. Or just light fingertips even. Take one more breath, really squeeze your back, warm your back. And down slow. Hear your surroundings. Let's do Cobra again. So take a deep breath to get ready. Long exhale to drop heavy and come up. If you can, try keeping your toes down, active legs. More breaths here. Fall as you exhale. Press back to either puppy dog or child's pose. forward and set up for either <clears throat>
pal face pose or double pigeon. We'll start with our right leg on top. Knee over knee, to do cow face pose. Ankle over knee, like stacked fire logs would be double pigeon. Body sensation is this amazing tool to anchor our mind. So if you had a color, you could color in the space in your body where you feel this the most. Visualize that and then using that colored area to really just keep holding your attention. yourself drifting off to thought or problem solving or whatever just come back to that space that you've colored in your body Make your way to your second side. Anything you might need in the middle. ground out so you can really zoom in to what you're feeling here. Stay with your body for just a couple more breaths. And 
as you come out. Take whatever would feel like a release for your hips, if that's another down dog or <clears throat> anything else. I think it's perfect that we set up an outdoor yoga class for peace and well-being and the chainsaw has not stopped for the last 20 minutes. It's a perfect parallel though to like, you know, there's always going to be things that are unplanned, that are distractions, that take us out of our practice and actually they're amazing tools to help us really tap into like right now in our body. Maybe you have a whole other host of distractions at your house helping you focus. <laughs> Find your way to your back. I'm gonna finish your practice with a little upside down time, whether that's legs up or a shoulder stand. Slowly roll out of your inversion. <clears throat> Take a little bit of time and a twist from your back. Once you've finished both sides, any other movements you need before settling in for a little rest. Notice your belly expand with your inhales <clears throat> and soften down as you exhale.
get pulled mentally somewhere else, just come back to the feeling of your belly expanding with breath. Stay and feel just like one more deep breath, roll through. Start to move whatever feels like natural and you're drawn to, whether that's a big stretch or something more subtle. <clears throat> Eventually making your way over to your side to rest there. Finding your way up to a seat. Take a deep breath. for you today is that the chainsaws can be drowned out <laughs> <laughs> with your practice of just noticing what else is happening right here right now whether it's your body your breathing or the beautiful birds <laughs> through the chainsaw from our home to yours together we say 